Exercise 7D, Coordinate Geometry. Let us find area of triangle whose vertices are given. So we can write it as x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. So area of triangle will be half modulus. We take 5. So it come y2 minus y3 minus 5 minus 5. Then plus x2 we have minus 4. Then again we take 5 minus this one. Here we have 2 minus. One from the formula, another from here. Then x3 become this one minus this one. Here again we have 2 minus. One from the question, one from the formula. It will be half. Here both are minus. So we have 2 plus. But sign remains same. Plus 2 minus, we have minus 4 into here. Minus 2 minus plus 7 plus 5, 12. Minus 2 minus plus 1 minus 1 plus 7 minus 5 will be 2. Will be half. 5 into 10 minus 50. Minus 4 into 12, 48. Plus 2 minus, minus 8. So all are minus. We have to plus. Sign remains same. 8 plus 8, 16. 5, 4, 5, 9, 10. Uh, area never become minus. So if I remove this modulus, then minus also disappear. We are left only with positive so 2 5 3 so that mean area of triangle is equal to 53 square unit so you can do the other also the same way okay but please write properly write first the <coughs> area here we have this one is x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 then write the formula properly this is a symbol for triangle remember half we have x1 y2 minus y3 x2 y2 minus y1 x3 y1 minus y2 so you replace the value check the sign properly where you have to plus plus where you have to minus minus and remember don't forget to put the modulus so if we have plus also if you remove the modulus it remain plus if we have minus if we remove it again it will become plus so number two also you can try yourself the same way Okay, so you can put the number like that, easy for you to calculate. You can write it like this, 6, 3, then minus 3, 5, then 4, minus 2. So that it will be easy for you to take the value. Okay, so area of triangle, you first write the formula, then after that you can do like what I do so that will become like a shortcut type like that so half leave it like that here we have okay those we have six then it will come five minus minus two will be seven then we have next come minus three then it will become minus two minus three will be minus five then you will have plus four so 3 minus 5 will be minus 2. So in that way then you can multiply them. 6 into 7, 42. Minus 2 minus plus. 3 into 5, 15. Then 4 into minus 2, you have minus 8. 42 and 15 plus, plus them. Then you minus with 8. You'll get the answer 57 minus 8, 49 by 2. We remove the modulus divide by 2. Since it is area, it will be square unit. So, similarly, you can try yourself number 3. Then next, we have to find the area of quadrilateral. Uh, we know that quadrilateral is made up of two triangles. So, what to do? You divide them into 3. Okay? 
you can take it like that then divide the quadrilateral into two triangle here one here two so use the formula for area of triangle you use for this one then this one then after that you can plus them suppose if i take this one like zero zero then six zero then we have four three then we have zero comma three okay so you take first the first one the same way you can write zero three then zero zero then six zero so here zero zero minus zero it will disappear zero zero minus three disappear we are left only with six into three minus zero so it will be six into three provided remember we have half then 6 into 2 18 so here 9 that means for the first triangle we get 9 now for the second one you take 0 3 you take 6 0 you take 4 3 so here will be half area of triangle okay so here 0 0 minus 3 will disappear then we have 6 3 minus 3 again 0 will disappear then we have 4, 3 minus 0 will be 3. So 4 into 3 will be 12. 12 divided by 2, we get 6. So 9 plus 6 will be 15. So the area of quadrilateral is equal to 16 square unit. Okay, so you can do that way. You can divide this one into triangle then that way you do so you take three three points okay those then you apply you will get here we get nine 18 divided by two will get nine units then again you take for the second one you take b d and c you can name this point as a b c is here to calculate then again you calculate there you will get 12 divided by two six so there nine plus six we have 15 square unit the area so similar way you can try for number two and number three also okay so here we have we give the name a b d then b d c so you can do shortcut like what i do so that will not make mistake okay here you have one then it'll come three minus seven okay those oh okay sorry first we take a b d so we take a b and d you better write the point separately so that you will not make mistake a is a we have one zero then b we have five three then d is given to be minus two four okay this is for a b d so that mean like that if you take one then it become three minus four if you take 5, it will be 4 minus 0. If you take minus 2, it will be 0 minus 3. So then you can do 4 minus 3, minus 1, minus 1, 2, 1, minus 1. 4, 0, 4, 5, 4, 20. 0 minus 3, minus 3, because minus is greater. Minus to minus, plus 2 into 3, 6. So here, plus, we plus them, we minus with this. You can leave that one. Then next you can take B, D, C. You can take B, D, C. So this two, because this is A, then we can take with C. B, D, C. You can take two by seven. So when you take five, it will become So if you take five, then it will become 4 minus 7 inside bracket. If you take minus 2 here, it will become 7 minus 3. And then if you take 2, it will become 3 minus 4. Then you calculate as usual. 7 minus 4 minus 3. 7 minus 3, 4. 3 minus 4 will come minus 1. 5 into 2, 3 minus 15. Minus 2 into 4 minus 8. 2 into minus 1 minus 2 all half minus so you can plus but remember we have modulus so when we take them out minus will disappear so now we want area of quadrilateral we can plus them both we have fraction you can take lcm so 50 divided by 2 the area of quadrilateral is 25 square unit 
the same way you can try yourself number three then next here they want us to show that the point are collinear then what to do here since we know now the area of triangle we find the area of triangle if we get the area is zero they are collinear if not zero then not collinear you already know how to find the area of triangle okay so let's see here we have two five then four comma six then eight comma eight so area is half the okay? area of triangle half base into height we can say so we take this one two here become six minus eight then if you take four then it will become eight minus five then if you take this one as eight become only this one five minus six then now we will calculate the as usual so half here we have eight minus six two minus two because minus eight is greater eight minus five three three into four will be twelve then here six minus five six is greater will come minus one into eight minus eight here so two into two four minus minus four minus eight will be twelve twelve plus twelve minus twelve plus twelve becomes zero zero divided by two zero so we get area of triangle equal zero which means that this point are collinear the same way you can do for those two okay if the point are area is zero then you will get collinear like here you have zero to zero into anything will be zero so first part we leave it then for one you have minus one minus one so it will be two into uh, you'll get like that okay you'll get will be minus one so it'll be minus two into one then if you take minus one it will come one minus two so there so here minus is greater minus two minus plus then you'll see zero into anything becomes zero here one plus one minus that means we get zero again so the triangle area triangle is zero that means the point are collinear here also you can take the point uh, if you take minus five then it become five minus seven will be minus two if you take five here then seven minus one will be six you get five into six then if you take ten it become one into minus five it will be minus four so minus four to ten minus forty so these two are plus then my forty minus forty again the area is zero so that means they can form the they are collinear